So this pine tree was coming down and fairly close to the deck in the house, as you can see here. I had to make up my mind if I was going to piece out all these limbs that were going out over the house and the deck and handle them in smaller pieces and throw them down into the drop zone like I'm doing with these first couple of cuts here. Or I had a lowering line already set up in the adjacent tree and I would could use that lowering line to swing a few pieces out. And I just thought Ready some of those line. bigger, heavier pieces, let's just tie them all together yeah, on one on, string and let them swing out harmlessly away from the house into this drop zone over here. The creative process of rigging is about problem solving. And if I just had that rope going up into the adjacent tree, when I made that third cut, all the, those limbs are gonna swing right back at the bucket. So in this situation, what I did was I just started by using this branch right here as a redirect. And once the three limbs were hanging from this branch, I would I'd be able to cut the end of that branch off, then just pull the rope off the stub and allow the whole three pieces at once to swing out to the other tree. So that's one kind of interesting what aspect of this piece of video here. The other thing is, I'm sure this has been shown plenty of times, but this way of rigging limbs out where you're doing them in, in a series and you don't really have to tie much of a knot there, especially if there's a crotch right there for something for it to catch on. You can just do basically what turns into a half hitch on these guys and it'll lock it down on itself, no problem. So there's a second limb and then I ended up using a running bowl as a termination knot on the third branch and I'm just cutting some of the smaller stuff out of the way. One of the nice things about video is you can actually go back and see how long any particular process took. And the truth is on this one I probably could have just pieced out these three limbs as fast or even faster than it took me to tie them off. However, it's not a bad idea just to play with the rigging ideas. In this situation, using that overhead branch as a redirect was kind of fun. It certainly kept anything from maybe taking a funny bounce and hitting that railing on that deck. If you're piecing out branches from the bucket truck all day long, you're cutting and chucking. That can be a lot of wear and tear on the elbows and the wrists and the shoulders. It's not a bad idea in a situation like this. If it's about going to be about the same to put a rope on it. All right, take it up, take one. Hold on, let me give you a little slack here. Give me a sec. I could edit this video and, All right, take it up. and shorten it up, but I thought I'd give you a, a sense of real time rigging here. And I'm not sure if you're gonna like that or not, or if you just think it's a waste of your time. So let me know what you think. Ready? And I'll take that into consideration and make a future video. So I hope this one, you find it worthwhile. I hope you maybe got some new ideas or got you thinking a little bit about what the potentials are for, for problem solving in these types of rigging scenarios. And thanks for watching.